Hey guys, today I wanted to do a makeup look that I haven't done before. I'm gonna do a full on smoky eye. I'm gonna do like a going out at night, date night, smoky eye. Which is gonna be funny because I'm filming this at one in the afternoon so then for the rest of the day I'm going to have this like smoked out crazy smoky eye. So the first thing that we're gonna do is prime our eyelids and I'm going to use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion but this doesn't actually cover the veins in my eyelids so I'm also going to use my elf eyeshadow primer and liner sealer and I'm going to use this side that looks like a concealer stick and that will cover up my veiny eyelids and then the first color that we're going to use is this matte brown and I'm going to take that on this brush that I got at Hobby Lobby that fits perfectly in my crease and I'm just going to windshield wiper motion that back and forth in my crease and then the next color that we're going to grab is this burgundy purple color and I'm going to just take that on a regular eyeshadow brush and then pack that onto my eyelid. And we're focusing more on our lower half of our eyelid and then we're going to pop into the crease just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to take that through the crease just to blend out any harsh lines. And as you can tell, it already looks better on the left than it does on the right. You just don't want any harsh lines happening. Next, we're going to take our darkest color. I'm just going to go full force and use black, but you can use any dark color that you want. And I'm going to take that and do the same thing I did with the purple, pack it onto the lower half of my lid, and then use that Sigma brush to blend that up and into my crease. And like I said, we're just using this brush to blend the black and the purple together, making sure that there's no harsh lines. Next, because I didn't have any tape, I'm just going to use a makeup wipe and wipe right along the side of my eye just to give it that crisp, clean look. And then next, I'm going to take a highlight color, just a white, shimmery color. I'm just going to pop that right under my brow bone. And then I'm going to grab a pink, shimmery color from my Naked 3 palette. This one's called Dust. And I'm going to pop that right in the inner corners of my eyes just to give it a little pop. Next, I'm just going to do my foundation. I'm just going to do super simple, then I'm going to contour with powder. So I'm just going to do my foundation off camera, and then I'll come back. Now I'm going to go in with this pencil brush, and I'm going to take um, that red burgundy color that we use, and I'm just going to run that right under my eyes. Right, right under the lash line, and just kind of bring it out to meet up with this line on our eye. Next, I'm taking my black eyeliner and I'm just putting that right in my waterline to give it a little bit more of a dramatic look. And then for the eyeliner on top, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner and this is Blackest Black. And I'm just going to follow my lash line with that, just super simple, and then give it just a little bit of a flick at the end. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and then use three different mascaras. Maybelline the falsies on the bottom, Tarte's lights camera lashes in the middle, and then Too Faced better than sex on top in that order. And then next I'm going to try to bring some life back into my face. I'm using my NYC bronzer on my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm just putting that in the contours of my cheeks and then a little bit up on my forehead as well. And then next I'm going to throw on some red lipstick and that is it. I hope you guys like this look. If you did make sure to subscribe and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye, guys.